Dora here. Today I am going to talk about my makeup inventory and my goals for 2019 which are not, there's not a lot of them. <laughs> I, I had a bit of trouble with my goals this year. Now I'm not going on a low buy and I'm not going on a no buy like so many other people are this year because it's only been in the last year that I've really got into makeup in a big way and enjoying it and buying a lot more of it and some of that has been to do with the amount of time I have actually spent around retail places compared to the year before and some of that has been because I've needed to have some other way of letting out my creative side because I haven't had a chance to do as much painting and so I've been doing it in makeup and especially with colour with my eyeshadow and things and so I although my collection has grown a lot and I've certainly got plenty of makeup I'm not ready to say that's enough so I'm just, but what I am doing is I'm doing my project pan and panning the palette and I'm doing a makeup for inventory so that I can see at the end of the year how much I've got compared to how much I use during the year and also so when I'm shopping I can see in my well in my head I know I've got however many it is like eight concealers I don't need another one kind of thing or, or whatever the number is so in my head I know what kind of numbers I've got and what I need to use up before I buy more of so although I'm not going on a low buy or a no buy I am carefully considering what I buy before I buy it because I don't want to have a whole lot of product that goes off before I get to use it with maybe the exception of eyeshadow because the colors and the color story and eyeshadows really speak to me and they're just what I really love so I don't shop online so I don't buy all the new palettes that come out I only shop with whatever's in store and so therefore I'm using my cash money I'm not using my credit card so I'm not building up any debt on my credit card or anything but I can only spend what I've got so um, we don't get a lot of new releases and things where I am so I feel okay about if I see a palette that I really like the color story of and I want to try out I feel okay about buying it and trying it out even though I've got more eyeshadow than I can use I'm not worried about that so <laughs> so that's that's where I'm standing on how I want to go with my purchasing during the year and there is a speck of dust on my lens I hope you can't see that I'm just going to clean it off and see if that makes any difference so yeah um, so yeah that's where I stand with that so I'm going to go through my inventory in a minute and show you some of what I've got and just say the numbers of some of them because I'm not going to take you all around the house looking for all the things that I've got <laughs> so what are my goals for the next year well it's been a pretty hard year 2018 I've had various members in the hospital on a regular basis as or and also I've got um, a daughter in intensive counseling for anxiety and I would just like everyone to stop going to the hospital <laughs> in 2019. I have spent way too much time in hospitals this last year and I want to stop doing that. <laughs> so um, basically I just want to get through every day, find the joy in every day and enjoy the people around me every day. So that's my basic goal. For, for my makeup, I would like to wear more colourful eyeshadow on an everyday basis and go out in my colourful eyeshadow and enjoy it because I live in a very small country town in a very small country and in my town 
most of the people don't even wear any makeup, let alone colourful makeup. So I am definitely unusual in that respect for this area. And I'm getting more and more comfortable with just going out and just wearing whatever I want. And I do admit that I have less trouble wearing colourful eyeshadow than I do a colourful lipstick because I kind of hide a bit with my eyeshadow because I put my glasses on and then people don't really see my eyes anyway because if I'm outside um, I've got transition lenses so they go dark so I'm basically wearing sunglasses all the time outside so people don't see my eyes anyway but I'm getting more and more comfortable with going out and I'm getting more comfortable putting more colour on my eyes too and I'm really enjoying it and I'm loving the whole process of coming up with combinations and, and just playing with the colour and that's what I love about painting as well just playing with colour so it's a really good artistic outlet for me and I've been really enjoying doing the videos and getting to know the small beauty YouTubers here on YouTube because they're so nice and supportive they're, they're a great lot of people and I really have been enjoying getting to know them so I want to continue doing makeup videos and I want to continue doing my art videos now I am finding it a lot easier to do makeup videos at the moment than art videos I am finding that a little bit of a struggle just to find the space and the time to do that because with my makeup videos I can just shut myself in the bedroom and and do my makeup ones but there's nowhere in here that I can do my painting and so I've got to go elsewhere for that and I'm sticking pretty close to home at the moment because of sick people in the household and so I can't go to my art studio as often as I would like and I am finding that a bit of a challenge to to get to the painting but then that's why I do the makeup because that is another artistic outlet for me so I would like to continue making videos on makeup and hopefully you will all still enjoy them and but I would still like to continue doing my art videos as well and just grow my channel and if um, if I got to a thousand and I actually started getting some AdSense not that you make very much on it I know it, that, that to me feels like I'm actually moving forward and going somewhere because I have had my channel for just over a year now and I don't know that I have any other goals I could say oh, I want to lose weight and I want to get fit and I want to um, declutter my house and all those kind of things are in the back of my mind but they're not the important things to me my family's health and my health and just keeping things on even keel is more important at the moment. So it's a short and sweet video and um, I will go through my inventory now. I'm going to do my inventory on my phone because moving my big camera around is a bit tricky. So I'm just going to go through and have a quick overview of my drawers and things and how many of the products I've got. So in this drawer I keep my face masks and my spare sponges and my prime no my setting sprays and a few little extra bits like my extra eyeshadow primer and some eye cream and things. So four setting sprays, which is my first category. I have seven setting sprays. Now a couple of these aren't setting sprays, so this one is just a bottle of alcohol for various um, disinfecting things and this one is just a little bit of rose water mixed with water that I use for spraying my brush when I want to wet my eyeshadows. So that leaves one, two, three, four, five, six and the seventh one is on my desk which I am currently using in my project pan. I didn't bother counting all my sponges because I use those regularly. So here's my my face masks in the back of my drawer here and I have got 13 sheet masks and I've got two in my bathroom that have got um, that are in a, in a bottle 
and actually I've just remembered I've actually got 14 sheet masks because I've got one sheet mask in my bathroom as well. Now this is the trouble I have had with doing my inventory. I'm just going to close that drawer over the next one. Is that um, I keep discovering that I've got other things in different places and I have to keep adjusting the numbers. So going back to my drawers and my makeup. I have got, and my primers, my primers I keep here and I've got one of them on my desk that I'm currently using, so I've got six primers, I've got two eye primers, and one of them is a brand new one in my top drawer and the other one I am using, and I've got two glitter glues, and I have got 14 foundations, so that includes stick foundations and various other types of foundation and cushion foundation and I've got a brand new one of that cushion one over there which I use in the summertime when we go away and I've got a couple on my desk that I'm currently using. I have got these concealers here are the colour for my under eyes. So I've got three of those and four counting the one I'm using at the moment. And I have got concealers for my face. There's three here but I've got another one that I'm currently using. So that makes another four. So I've got eight concealers altogether. And in the powder section I have got six pressed powders so I've got four in there and I've got one in my purse and I've got one in my desk that I use that I'm using up and I have got three loose powders no I've got four loose powders because <laughs> I've got one over in my desk as well so my next drawer is lipsticks and lashes so I have four lipstick, I have 12 lipstick liners, I have a couple here and most of them are here because I use them regularly and they're all different colours and I have got 22 bullet lipsticks like this. And I have got six little testers. These are the only testers I've got. Everything else is full size. Can't open it with one hand. <laughs> got these little testers here. Ready to try out. I have got on the page twelve liquid lipsticks like this kind of thing. I have got five glosses like like this kind of lip gloss and I have got I've got four lip toppers which are like these sparkly things that you stick over the top of lipsticks. And for lashes, I have got eight pairs of lashes of various kinds. And I've got two lots of lash glue in there. And the next two drawers are eyeshadow palettes. So I've got this drawer with just a few in it, but some really big palettes. <laughs> And I've got this drawer with lots in it. When I'm when I do my um, eyeshadow, what I do is I'll take an eyeshadow palette from the front and I'll stick it in the back when I've used it, if I'm not looking for a particular palette that is. And that way I can, I know which I've rotated through. So that's how I use that. And I've got a few eyeshadow palettes over here in my everyday drawer which is looking quite full at the moment. So for eyeshadow palettes I 
So for eyeshadow palettes, I have got 42 eyeshadow palettes. Now, if you've been following me at all from the beginning of my makeup journey, uh, my eyeshadow palette collection has grown since I did my declutter. <laughs> I have brought quite a few. And some of that is because they brought in Chi Chi at my local store. They brought in Makeup Revolution at my makeup store. They brought in Wet n Wild at my local store. And they finally got these at my local store from Rimmel. So um, we didn't have any of those at the beginning of the year. And so when they came in, I grabbed them. Oh, and also... They got Milani, which we didn't have before. So I've been enjoying trying a few different makeups that we've never had access to before here. So that, that is the eyeshadow palettes. I have got 19 eyeliners, which I keep over here on my very cluttered looking desk. I did not tidy up before I did this. So I've got 19 eyeliners and I've got... Seven sort of crayon type ones like this. Not all the same brand, but that type of thing. And it's just my dirty brushes and my clean brushes. I've got more clean brushes than dirty ones, so that's a good thing. <laughs> so, and here I have got my blushes. And for blushes, I have got. So for blusher, I have got 11 powder brushes, blushes, singles, and I've got two palettes, so I've got this, this palette here, and I've got this palette here, and I've got one cream one, which I have got in my everyday drawer, for highlighters. I have got six single highlighters, like like this one. I have got five palettes. I've got one cream palette, and I've got two liquid highlighters. For bronzers, I have got in this. So when I was when I was counting the blushes and the highlighters. I also counted the ones in these palettes as well. So for, uh, hi, uh, what am I up to? Bronzer. Bronzers. I've got three matte bronzers, like, like this. It's either in a palette or on its own. And I've got three glowy ones, which are either in a palette or on its own. And that's all the bronzers I've got. I have two contour things. One is in this one. This one here is a contour shade rather than a um, bronzer for me. And the other one is in my current drawer being used up. And this is some more eye things in here. So in this drawer I have got glitters and pigments and cream eyeshadows and a spare glitter glue. So that's one of the two. The other one's in my everyday makeup drawer. So I have got six loose glitters, like, like these kind of things that are just loose in there. I have got these kind of ones which are kind of toppers, liquid glitter. I've got 11 different colours of these. I've got cream eyeshadows, if I can get my hand in there. So this is the Maybelline Colour Tattoo type of one. And I've got five of these and I've got one palette with cream eyeshadow in it. And loose pigments. I knew there was something else. So I've got two loose pigments. I've got this this one here, and a bright blue one. So that's all I've got.
I should really read my own notes. I've got a note sitting in front of me saying, is your mic on? So I just filmed a whole lot of um, inventory stuff about my body care and skincare, and I didn't have my microphone on, so now I have to do it all again. <laughs> so um, I'm also, I, I also thought it would be interesting to count through in my bathroom and wherever else I keep my skincare, how much I had of my cleansers and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> my mind just went blank, couldn't remember what I was talking about. Um, and so makeup removers and perfumes and, and all that kind of thing. Because I don't really know how many I've got and I think if I'm really aware of what I've got then I'll make sure I don't buy too much of any one thing. Because although I don't mind buying lots of eyeshadow palettes, I don't need millions of cleansers. <laughs> there are only certain ones I use. I do try different ones occasionally until I find something that I think works super well and then I tend to stick with that. But I do use more than one type of cleanser at a time because um, my skin's a bit of a problem. <laughs> so when I, at night time, I take my makeup off with a facial makeup removal oil, whatever you call it. <laughs> I use an oil for that and then I go in with a um, like a foaming type of cleanser and get rid of any residue and make sure everything's off so you, like, either like a gel cleanser or a, or something like that and then I go in with what I term as my skincare of actually this I use um, proactive because I have cystic acne problems and it's the only thing I've found so far that works properly so I have that after <laughs> so yeah I am a bit over the top but it's been working for me so I'm going to carry on doing that and then in the morning I don't use my proactive and I just use a gentle cleanser and moisturizer and sunscreen so anyway <laughs> so so my inventory I'm not going to show you what I've got because that's just going to take too long and too much effort with the camera <laughs> so I'm just going to read out if you're interested what I've actually got for my other products so makeup removers like my oils I have two I have one half bottle and one backup and I have two foaming face washes that I use in the shower after that I have six other cleansers that's including my proactive cleansers as well as the stuff I use in the morning I have six toners because um, I'm nearly out of one toner and so I brought it back up for that and I've got a couple of the proactive ones. I've got so many of the proactive stuff because for a while there I was under that scheme where they send you so many products every month and I just ended up with way too much backlog so I cancelled that and I'm still working through those. I have one daytime moisturiser and two nighttime moisturisers. I have three day serums and one night serum. I have three facial, facial oils and I have three day eye creams and two night eye creams. I have one face sunscreen. I have body moisturizers because I've got um, because I've got problem skin I use a plain moisturizer every day several times a day on my hands and stuff so it's like a hand cream but you can use it all over yourself and it's very gentle and I've been using it for years and years so I've got five of those and I'm not the only one in the house that uses it but there's I've got one in my bathroom and one in my bedroom and I've got one in my purse and this is where I had trouble with my inventory because I suddenly realized okay I've also got one put away somewhere in a travel kind of size so that it doesn't leak everywhere when I go away <laughs> and yeah so so I, I have them kind of scattered all around and I have eight scented body moisturizers like body butters or ones that go with my um, body wash and things if I want to smell nice. I have four perfumes and I have seven body washes and I have two body scrubs. I have one lip scrub which I got in September and hardly ever used so that number is either going to be zero or stay at one because there's no point in me buying lip scrubs I just don't really use them I have three bubble baths I have six bath bombs not five bath bombs 
four shampoos and six conditioners because I'm not the only one that uses the shampoo and the conditioner in this household and the shampoo goes down really fast and the conditioner doesn't so <laughs> I have five different products for styling my hair like gels and mousse and heat styling products and things which is a bit of a joke because I hardly ever style my hair <laughs> I have three kind of leave-in conditioners or oils that I use in my hair. I, when I wash my hair, I put in a leave-in conditioner after I've washed it. I use a shampoo and a conditioner and then afterwards I put a leave-in conditioner and I've got some argon oil that I put through the tips. And I have two small hairsprays, like travel size. I have two dry shampoos, which I've only just started using in the last year because I started getting my hair coloured professionally rather than just doing it myself and if I'm going to spend that much money getting my hair coloured I don't want to wash it all out in a hurry so I've been using dry shampoo a lot which means I don't have to wash my hair so often. I have 10 bars of soap, I'm not the only one who uses the soap and also I have to be careful what kind of soap I use or my skin doesn't like it and I get um, dermatitis from it so I tend to stock up on that and also my husband works for Walida and we get some free products as part of his job so I use their calendula baby soap <laughs> and so we'll just make an order of five soaps or something. I have three bath milks and they're all Walida products as well and one rose one and two lavender ones. I really like the lavender ones for when I need to relax and unwind and if I think I'm going to have trouble sleeping or something I'll have a lavender milk bath which is nice. And nail polish. I have three base coats, I have three top coats and I have two gel top coats and one of those Essie top coats in the twisty bottle that they say you have to have the special top coat to go with the nail polish for it to last properly. So I have one of those. I have 76 bottles of coloured nail polish, which is way too many, but a lot less than I did before I decluttered my nail polish. <laughs> and I have three cuticle nail oils, and they're all half empty or less. <laughs> so that is my inventory for the year. And as I said at the beginning, I just want to know what I've got. So when I go shopping, I'll have an idea in the back of my mind about how much of things I've got. And I know now I don't need to buy any more cleansers till I've used a few of them. I've only got a quarter of a day moisturizer left, so I can buy one of those. <laughs> I actually want to change up my day moisturizer, so I'll be looking for a nice one of those. And I put a few things like, a bottle of perfume, well actually two, in my project pan for the year and things. And so I just want to be aware of what I've got so I know what I'm buying. I don't want to go on a low buy or a no buy because that'll just annoy me and I'll just buy stuff anyway. But being aware of what I've got I think is important and the panning I think will also help with that as well because I'll be thinking, well, I'm trying to use up this, say, concealer and I already have three more in my drawer, so I don't need to buy another one. <laughs> and a lot of the stuff, apart from eyeshadow palettes, which I just buy because I love colour, <laughs> and a lot of the stuff that I've got, it's been because I'm searching for a product that I really like, and so I don't have hardly any brow products. Actually, did I even mention brow products? I don't think I even counted those, because I, I have one brow gel one brow pencil and one brow pomade and that's that's it for brow products and it'll probably stay like that because I don't need more than that I'm quite happy with what I've got one thing I would like is if L'Oreal and Maybelline are you listening please go cruelty free <laughs> that would be great because I have been thinking since watching all the small beauty youtubers a lot of them are cruelty free and I have been thinking about going cruelty free my problem is that because I don't shop online and I have very limited access to lots of the makeup where I live, my selection of what I could buy would shrink dramatically and a lot of my collection has got Maybelline and L'Oreal in it 
because that's what is really easy to get here. So if they would go cruelty free, I'd have no trouble going cruelty free then. <laughs> and also, you know, CoverGirl did it, so why can't other companies? Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.